From the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hello, listeners, and welcome to another Ropecast. Hello, Peter. Hi, Roger. Welcome, listeners. Peter, you you moved house not so very long ago, and yep. you were telling us about um, what you did with all of the stuff you didn't need anymore. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. the other side of moving in? You you drill holes in walls to put up pictures and shelves and <sighs> stuff like that. Did, did oh, you bet. Did you you do bet. All I have, <laughs> of course, as you know, I'm married, so I have to put up curtains, yeah. which is not a very guy's thing to do. But <laughs> yes, I have to put... And I had to drill up a lot of holes and put in a lot of... Um, uh, Roll plugs? Is that the English word for double? Yes, that's right. Uh huh. Right. Okay, the English little, English word. English English. So, so that's the the little plastic things that you put in walls yes. and hold screws. Yeah, as you can see, that <laughs> these are these are words that elude me. Right. Uh, that they you don't really talk a lot about that until you're in the country itself. Until you're in the country itself, and this does not get taught in English classes no. a heck of a lot. So that's why. Even though I, I would venture to say that I have a decent command of the English language, these words I don't know. Well, some of it's very simple. I mean, hand drill or power drill mm -hmm. is pretty clear, isn't it? A, a power drill is an electric yeah, drill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Hand hand drill. You have them cordless as well. Yes. Uh huh. Nowadays. But um, that little bit of plastic you put in the wall, mm -hmm. I call the roll plug, and mm -hmm. I'm sure Americans would not know that word. I think they'd call it an anchor. An anchor. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I do know what goes into them. That is a screw. Right. Although there's another type of screw, I know that, uh, the ones that, that you do not put into the wall, but that you put into these other round metal things. Are you talking about nuts and bolts now? Yep. Yep, that's, that's it. <laughs> so the bolt is a little bit like a screw, except it's not pointed, uh -huh. and it has to go into this other something, which we call a nut. Ah, okay, okay, good, good, good that I know that because in German we use the same word for both, uh -huh. but we differentiate with adjectives or, or compounds yeah. as Germans go. Well, let's just think about which other basic tools you might need in everyday situations. Uh, of so, course, you'd need a screwdriver yeah. to put the screw in. Okay, so that could the... also be electric. Yes, of course, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, German make though, Bosch. <laughs> But there is, um, well, there are two basic types of screwdriver. There's the simple screwdriver, which is just, um, well, a straight bit of metal. Uh, That's, I think it's sort of a slotted. Yeah, there's a slot, slot for it to go into. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's the what we call the Phillips screwdriver, which is like a cross shape. Mm hmm. Um, actually, that term we do know in Germany now. Mm hmm. We, we used to just use a German word for that, that has the word cross in them. Right. But now we differentiate between a classical scru Phillips screwdriver and what's called, I think that's actually an English term, a posi drive. Ah, yes. Uh, this is very technical, isn't it? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. The other thing, I mean, if you're talking about putting a bolt into a nut, uh -huh. then you would have to tighten the bolt with what I would call a spanner. Uh, okay, no, I don't know. That. I think Americans would call it a wrench. Oh, that term I do know. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, a wrench. So a wrench is is sort of has very often a few corners. Yeah. And you put that around a bolt to fasten yeah. things. Or it maybe you put it around the nut. Uh, well, or around both. Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, actually, I just assembled a swing for the kids and I had to do a lot of that. Oh, yes. And if you don't have the right wrench... There's a nice term I do know. Uh, what you use is a monkey wrench. Uh -huh. That is a wrench that you can make wider or or, clo or tighter. Yeah. So you can fit it onto any kind or any size of nut or bolt. Right. Well, I would call that an adjustable spanner. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Because you can adjust it to the size of the nut. Mm, okay, well, that so. makes sense. I think we've almost gotten them all now. Um, maybe one last thing that you definitely need, the thing you need to measure things, because, of course, before you put up something, you may want to see how far it should be away from the ceiling, from the yeah. wall. From, so that would be... You, uh, could, you could use a tape measure. A tape measure or measuring tape, I think. Yeah. Okay. Or that one I remember now, uh, 
of course, you wouldn't have this very same object in Germany is a yardstick. If you're still using yards, as they are in the United States. And that's why they call it a yardstick. <laughs> but hey, hey, hold on. In Germany, you know, we do have the Zollstock, which is actually translated literally an inch stick. Ah, oh, right. And, but everybody knows there are centimeters on it. So yeah. I could ask you to give me an inch stick in German and Zollstock. Yeah. But I'd still get something with centimeters on it. Do you have a centimeter stick in or a meter stick? Oh, we'd say meter rule. A meter rule? Yeah. Ah, okay. Which usually is a folding kind of stick. Uh, isn't that also a carpenter's sort of? Possibly. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't think you need the word carpenter here. Uh, I think this is getting extremely technical here. Yeah. But one thing, I mean, we did uh, something which would probably cater more to our female listeners a while ago. So why don't we do next time a real guys podcast and really go into the tools again? What's in your toolbox? Huh? What's in your toolbox? Okay, and, that sounds uh, good. Uh, huh? yeah. and, and those really, you know, <laughs> something for the hardware store fans. Of course, for also, also for the girls who like to go to hardware stores. Uh, so, well, anybody interested in, in it, uh, tune in next time for our next toolbox, language toolbox on toolboxes. Bye for now. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Ropecast. Brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. <laughs>